factor perfect square trinomials. So uh, perfect square trinomials are in this form. First, there's actually trinomial means there's three of them. So one, two, three. And then what you want to look for is the first one and the last one. Those need to be perfect square pieces. So four is a perfect square number. Nine is a perfect square number. That's what you want to look for. Um, if they're not, then you can't use um, this method. But since 9 and 4 are perfect squares and then x is here, you can. The middle number is pretty much, uh, you can check. It's just like a check to see if this method applies. And there's always a 2, and then you're just going to multiply um, the square root of 4, which is 2, and then the square root of 9, which is 3. And then that needs to look like that piece right there. Um, so it's 2 times 2, which is 4. 9 times 3 is 12, so this is actually 12x. So we'll try it for 44. Um, first thing is, I want to rewrite this as a blank square. I'll leave this alone. And then I also want to write uh, the last one as blank square. Perfect square trinomials. Three piece, and these two piece have to be something square. So that's just an x there. Here would be 6y. And then this is just a check. So the rule was, in the middle, it has to be 2AB. So then 2A is x, B is 6Y. This takes in the row of the B. That takes in the row of the A. And that ends up being 2 times 6, 12XY. Well, that's what we have over here. So it works out. So if it works out, then um, we're going to use the rule. And the perfect square trinomials uh, it turns out that if we use this rule, um, they just end up being the same, a plus b um, or the square. The only thing is this actually has a minus here, so it's going to be a minus b uh, square. So x is the a minus 6y square, and that what that means is x minus 6y x minus 6y. Um, but we rather write it just like this because it's, uh, it's a little bit more condensed. So this is your answer. So we can try that for here. Um, so first thing is I look at th this. And well, there's three terms. So it's a trinomial. And then the first in that term, um, 25 is a perfect square number. 64 is a perfect square number. So I can write it as blank square plus 80x plus blank uh, square at that spot. Um, and then um, I'm going to rewrite that. Uh, 25, well, that's 5, and then there's an x there. And then this piece is something square to get 64, and that's 8. So just to check uh, if 2 times a times b is actually 80x here. Uh, 2 times 5x times b, well, 2 times 5 is 10, and then 8 times 10 is 80, and then there's an x. So that works out. It, it is a perfect square a trinomial. So the rule says just take the 5, take the 8, put them together, and put a square. If it was a minus, I'll just put a minus, but this one has a plus. This one had a minus, so that had a minus. And that's how we do the perfect square trinomials. Okay. So uh, 48, I look at this, I look at that. Hey, 64 is a perfect square number, and I can probably write y to the fourth as a block, something square. So something square plus 16xy square plus something square. So that's uh, 8x, and this is y square square. So just to check if 2 times a times b is actually 16xy square so that it satisfies the perfect square trinomials, 2 times a, and then b. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16, and then I have an x and a y square. Hey, that's exactly like what I see here. So I can use the rule. I can just put an 8x there, plus a y square, put it in parentheses, and square it. And that's how we factor perfect square trinomials.